What's up, Plantriotic peeps? I'm here with my friend Izzy That Fruit Bat on YouTube and Instagram. Celebrity, teenage, no. fruit, fruit bat, fruit powered YouTuber. She has a lot of awesome stuff, um, content, but if you want to hear her whole backstory, we got into that really in depth on my podcast, the Plantriotic Podcast on iTunes. You can find it there and on my website. So if you want to hear her story, check it out there. You, you put on your second fruit luck, right, yesterday? Yeah, yeah. How, how has that been, like organizing that? Who's been showing up? First of all, it's so easy to organize a fruit luck. It's like, it's hilarious how easy it is. I literally two months ago just decided, I want to have a fruit luck this summer. I'm going to pick a date. Uh, I picked a weekend, May 16th. That sounds good. Okay, hey friends, don't plan anything for May 16th. And then I just made a quick video. Um, recapping last fruit luck that I had so that people could kind of see. I created a couple flyers actually with a really cute photo of everybody from a previous fruit mm -hmm. luck and I just sent the location, the time. Simple Facebook page. 12 o'clock to sunset is the normal time that you know works for having a picnic mm -hmm. outside. So um, I just, yeah, the Facebook little event and boom, and it's really great that um, Angie and Ryan from Happy Healthy Vegan yeah. always repost my events. It was a cosmic fruit luck, actually. It really was. We went in the ocean. So many beautiful people. Played um, b-ball. My friends from Veggie Vibes, the, the raw delivery place where I've been working, they came, and that was really special. They brought some um, incredible raw Nutella. If they took the Woodstock Fruit Festival mm -hmm. and instead of having people pay and yeah. come if you just maybe bring fruit and like they just compile it and it like would be so much less money right so taking just, fruit luck to the next level yeah like a, a really cool a idea. one week fruit camp fruit luck so like a lot of people talk about how they just don't have time maybe to start a youtube channel or get a job or even adopt a high carb vegan lifestyle i just want to like make it clear that you are your full-time student yeah. you work two jobs paying jobs and you well three because you put out content all the time like mm -hmm. you do so much stuff how do you make it all work like what is what are your favorite jobs what do you what's the hardest what do you put the most focus in my favorite favorite job is to make videos it's to create so I love Creating I love you know going to bed with an idea and waking up and making it happen I think that's the coolest thing when you have an idea and you make it into reality and that process of creation Besides making videos. I'm you know working at a cashier at Native Foods, which is it's just easy. It's really just a good Way to make some money. I really truly like know the menu. I know mm -hmm. what everything is made out of Yeah, it's cool. and some people that work there are like they forget what the native chicken is made out of, and they're like, oh, it's a, it's a wheat, soy. I'm like, yeah, it's a wheat, pea, soy protein. I know all of this, bam, bam. And, and like, I'm vegan, so. I just want to interject, and like, I know throughout my journey with nutrition, like, uh, native, a place like Native Foods, which you can call, it's not fast food, but it's not, yeah. it's not all healthy vegan food. Mm -hmm. And I know I've had, like, bad vibes on that kind of stuff in the past, but I just want to, like, when you think about it, if you are a vegan activist because you want people to eat less animals, if you're working at a place that is replacing someone's meal where they would have gotten a chicken salad yeah. at some cafe, and instead they're eating a vegan chicken salad at Native Foods, yeah. that right there is activist work. Like yeah, that's, that's what we why need I love to it, be doing. Because I feel like I am doing my part being there. I feel like I'm I'm making it you know, like a cooler experience for someone who comes in and has never eaten a vegan meal before. That's fun. Uh, besides doing those three jobs, I also take pole dancing classes. Right. And that takes up my time, and that's a big passion. She is so <laughs> strong. It's insane. I tried jumping on this thing, and it's so difficult. What YouTube channels are you watching these days? Who are your faves? Okay, so... I still watch Freely, the banana girl, all the time. I like to keep up with what she's She's like your doing. original inspiration, right? Yeah. In a way. So, so is Flora Christina, so I keep up with her as well. Um, I keep up with Angie Ryan, Happy Healthy Vegan. Of course. Quite, quite 
I also have been watching <laughs> Vegan Gains yeah. all the time. I watch every single one of his videos. I find him so entertaining. Yeah. Like, his videos are just great. He's doing great. Um, and he's ripped. You are going to college soon. Mm -hmm. And entering, you know, entering college out of your home space is something that I can relate to. That's sometimes a little bit scary, especially when you have a lifestyle revolved around food and privacy with shooting videos and things like that. Like it's a very communal space. Yeah. Um, so you're going to Berkeley, an awesome school to go to as a vegan and just as like an activist artist because you can pretty much just do anything there. There's so many people um, and resources. But how do you feel about that? What are some of your fears, some of your expectations, stuff like that? I mean, I have sort of an idea of, um, of I, well, I think I have an idea of how I'm going to be living but I don't really know, so that's what's scary. I'm hoping that I can like have access to some kind of f like filming area that yeah. they have on campus. For like, sure I'm they sure will. they have like little studios. Yeah, a little like, sound room. Yeah, if I can like meet a film major, maybe a vegan film major. Yeah, I don't know. I know that there's a lot of different opportunities, and I have no idea what's gonna happen. But I'm excited for that adventure. So. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. Gonna You're going to love it. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be All right. Well, thanks for sitting down. Again, follow her on YouTube and Instagram. It's all Izzy That Fruit Bat. She posts amazing content all the time and beautiful pictures. And also, um, like this video if you did. And you can subscribe maybe right up here to the channel if you want to see more what I'm doing, what I'm eating, vegan muscle gains, all that good stuff. You could also follow me on Instagram, Twitter. It's all at Plantriotic. Have an awesome day.